Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to set up custom fields. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University and what I'm going to show you is setting up custom fields for your customers and vendors and you can also do this for your employees. And this can be handy when you have certain fields that you want to set up for customers, vendors, or employees that aren't in the standard setup in the customer center or the vendor center or the employee uh, center. Okay, so we're going to use an example here for the customer center. Okay, so we're going to say customers, go to customer center, and we're going to pick, let's say, Robert Allard. Okay, you can pick any one of your customers to do this. And we're going to click the edit button up here. So we get to this uh, edit the customer screen, and we're going to click on additional info. And you'll see over here that we have custom fields. In this sample file, they have contract number, birthday, spouse's name, okay? So all we want to do is click Define Fields, and you'll see that here are the labels that have been set up for custom fields. On the contract number, they have customer checked off, but as you can see here, and you can do this in the Vendor Center or the Employee Center, you just click which one you want it to apply to or not apply to, and it'll show up in that uh, vendor center or employee center, etc. All right, so if we need to add a new one, let's say that we want to add, uh, let's say, let's say year, we want to, uh, let's say year became customer, okay, if we want to track when they became a customer. All right, so we would check this off, and then we're going to click OK. Okay, you have activated custom fields for this list. You can also use these fields and transactions by turning them on in your custom templates. So let's say OK. And now you'll see year became customer. All right, so you can type in 2012 and click OK. And now that information will be in Robert Allard, 2012. All right, so we did not check that off for vendor or employee because this just relates to the customers. But if we did, it would also show up under the vendor and the employee sections as well. Now, what's, what's kind of neat about this, what I think, is that now you can pull up reports and filter by that information. So if we go to, let's go to the customer phone list. All right, so you'll see here we have a customer phone list, customer contact list. If you go up to customize report, and you'll see here you can add in different columns. So if we scroll all the way down, you're going to see, let's see here. Okay, so here's the contract number, birthday, spouse's name, year became customer. So say we want to do birthday and year became customer and spouse's name. Click OK, and now you'll see here that we have, and they don't have all the information filled in, but the birthday column, spouse's name, year became customer. So you can pull up reports that show this custom field that you have set up for the customers, the vendors, or the employee list. All right. So any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave them below. Happy to answer those for you. Also, head over to the QuickBooks University. Would love to have you become a member, learn everything you can about QuickBooks, and actually use it to help run your business better. Head over there now, qbuniversity.org.